हेलो फ्रेंड्स गुड मॉर्निंग गुड आफ्टरनून गुड इवनिंग सो ए फ्रेंड कुमार इज बैक विद नाउ द न्यू अपडेट फ्रॉम के सी टी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू वेयर द रजिस्ट्रेशन हैज स्टार्टेड सो दिस वीडियो विल कवर हाउ टू रजिस्टर एंड फिल द एप्लीकेशन फॉर्म एंड बेसिकली फे मेनो गेट द कंप्लीट रजिस्ट्रेशन डन फॉर के सी टी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू सो दिस इज द वेबसाइट वेर यू हैव टू इनिशियली गो के ई ए डॉट के ए आर डॉट एन आई सी डॉट इन विच इज़ द के के ई ए वेबसाइट ऑन विच द देर इज़ अ लिंक फॉर यू नो रजिस्ट्रेशन ऑफ द के सी टी so this is the link for that so by clicking from you know that ke ye karnataka website it will take to your page called cetonline.karnataka.gov.in/onlinecetapplication2022/ forms or you can directly type this link also so it will show you the login password page and the capture right so since this is the first time you are creating your login then you have to create your new user you have to create a uh, user login password by through new user root right so this is the registration system form for online application which will open so the first question on the screen you will see is uh, have you completed sslc from kiab government of karnataka the answer you have to give is yes or no there and this is the first question further you will see it will ask for enter your sslc registration number right so which you have already got and name as per the sslc or the 10th standard mark sheet so once you have filled the name then you have to enter date of birth by selecting there from the drop down and finally the gender right so then the sixth question is about you know the year of passing you can fill that father's name very easy mother's name very easy you can fill it by yourself select the course you wish to get into the admission so this i will show you with a course how to select but before that what is your qualification so you have to enter 12th standard second pu and uh, there is a uh, if you are also entering for neat then you have to fill your registration number for uh, you know neat roll number and your nationality and the eligibility clause so this is how you will fill the course you want to fill the get the admission so uh, in the first in the drop down is ug engineering bsc agriculture bvsc pharma architecture and if you are medical student you have to select ug medical dental and if you are the pg student then you have to select pg engineering mem tech or pg medical dental depending on which course you are asking so this is how you have to fill the select the course you can to get admission next thing i mentioned that the eligibility clause is also you have to fill below the nationality so there are multiple options like class a class b to up to class o right so let me explain you what are different clauses and which one you should select so class a means you have studied for last 7 years minimum period of 7 years in karnataka from class 1 to class 12th and out of which you must have passed either 10th class or 12th class including 10th or 12th any of those 7 years should be there continuously in in karnataka to be called domicile class a right now let's see should candidate if you have passed first year puc and second year puc within the state of karnataka and your either of your parents have studied for 7 years in karnataka that means you have not studied for continuous 7 years your parents have studied continuous 7 year but you have studied 11 12th epuc in karnataka then it is class b now class c and class d are specific so class c is specifically for hornadu karnadigas where either of their mother's uh, mother or father's mother tongue should be kannada tulu or kodava and they should be domicile of karnataka and they should have passed class 12th so in that case you should put class c and if your mother tongue is kannada uh, tulu or uh, you know go kodava and uh, similarly 7 years you have studied in class 1 to 10 in a disputed speaking uh kannada speaking regions like sholapur agalkor or jat or regions of maharashtra in that case you will be gadinadu karnataka and you will be putting class d before both class c and class d there will be a kannada exam compulsory now some other types of candidates so class e is basically for the defense personnel whose son has a daughter studied in karnataka for minimum uh, they have served in karnataka for minimum one year period and their uh, children have studied in 11 12th in karnataka so these are defense category class e in the class f what happens you know if you are karnataka who has joined a defense service and declared as hometown as uh, karnataka then and you are from state of karnataka then it is class f but you may be posted somewhere else class g is in case your son or daughter is from defense personnel who has served karnataka for at least one year and uh, posted in active service and uh, such candidates who have passed the qualifying exemption from any government or government recognized location in um, karnataka it is g 
and H is for the students whose son or daughter ex servicemen of the ex servicemen. So there is a class H. So if you are not a current one but ex servicemen, then it is a class H. Then class I is for students uh, or you know, son or daughter of um, Karnataka's you know domicile whose uh, uh, job is in union government or the st state government, but they are liable to transfer from uh, transfer to any part of India. So they are working in any other part of India, but their children have studied two years, 11, 12 in Karnataka. That is why they clause I, they will be applicable to them. Clause J is also similar that it is also for son and daughter of retired employee of union government or the state government. Next is the clause K, which is for the son or daughter of the member of parliament MP elected from Karnataka. L is the son of daughter of a retired employee who belong to uh, all India service uh, of you know Karnataka cadre or Karnataka state government who has served outside of Karnataka. Then clause L, right? Now M is the son or daughter of Jammu Kashmir migrants. Proof of such migration will be identity card, right? So if you are Jammu Kashmir, clause M. The candidates who have studied 10 years academic in Canada medium school uh, from class 1 to 10, they, they will be class N. And uh, since they have studied 10 years, they will be class N. They will, they will, they will not be required to uh, take Kannada language test. Class O is for a daughter of retired employee of CA, CA, you know, Central Armed for Police Forces. right? So those are all clauses options which you have to fill. Right? So once you have filled the clause option, then you move further move in the form. 11th is where you will see your category. And I will explain the different category. You know the category, the CST, OBC and others. So I will explain more detail when uh, I am putting the eligibility uh, details about video one eligibility form. Right? 12th is the email. You can easily put 6th, 13th is where the secret question and answer is required so this is uh, on broad level for the 11 number st category 1 2a 2b 3a 3b so eligibility so for each of these reservation categories i will explain in another video but as of now this is the ones you have to select and as i as i mentioned you have to fill the secret question and secret answer so secret question you select any one of them which is applicable to you and then put a secret answer against them at the end of the page you see the captcha right so you have to enter the captcha which is mentioned there below that is your mobile number and since this is the first time you are creating a password you have to create a minimum eight character password which is will be used for login and so this is this completes your first time registration and the message will be flashed that online registration is complete please pay the fee uh, of rupees one through online after login and user id password is mentioned there and you have to note it down right so now you can log in it fresh. So you got the user, you name, you got the password, and now you can select login rather than the new user, which you did earlier. Now you see once you log in with the uh, your login, then you see on the left side many options for payment, general details, study details, reservation, declaration, and PUZ mark entry. So I will explain each of these stages here. First one of them is the payment, right? The payment one, the first one is very simple and I will not explain that it is just putting your credit card, debit card, OTP and then you will be able to pay the fees. Now getting the second one which is the general details. So general details when you click down it will ask you for you know okay, have you appeared for CET earlier if yes then put your CET number have you joined any college through NATA joined in yes no and all those right uh, things right and you see the religion is there category you have mentioned earlier and the same thing will be uh, flashing here name of the caste right what you belong to and in the bottom you see many questions related with the caste so rd if you see rd of a caste certificate that means you know the uh, you know basically it's a revenue department number rd number bcid means your backward class if you are claiming that so backward caste id is your bcid rd number of income certificate so whatever income certificate you are putting there for claiming your caste certificate or your caste reservation you have to put the rd number on that and the family income of your parents you have to fill there further at the bottom of the so it will say which place you studied your puc right you have to select down from you know completion of puc yes no physically handicap yes no uh, practice your uh, agriculture practice exam center if you are going for agriculture quota then only Further below you see priority for exam center. So you have to select two centers from where you will give the CG exam. Select one, select two, right? This is how you can select. So select one first center. You can put any one of your local, local city, Belagavi, Belgaum, Bangalore, etc. And similar to this second center. So it is easy. And then you have to confirm with the green button there at the bottom, right? You have to put your talukas and all those details also. If you can see here, upload certificate if you are claiming any rural certificate, rural quota. 
Further, you see it will ask your educational details on the left side by clicking your edu studying studying details. So, first standard to tenth standard, yes, no, and upload. Uh, then some more questions related with study Kashmir migrant yes no and upload document Karnataka reservation if you are claiming yes no and upload the document further I mentioned you know if you see that uh, uh, RD number right if you are a revenue department uh, your caste certificate based on income BCID if you say claiming backward caste those certificate and then you see upload document only PDF is required and maximum size is 1 MB Further, if you see the study questions in RFU, did you study in rural Karnataka? I want to yes, no. Son of Jammu Kashmir, yes, no. Do you claim Karnataka land, Karnataka reservation? X claim, claim X service quota, yes, no. NCC service, yes, no. And accordingly, you have to fill your uh, upload your documents also, right? So, there's a fill and save it, right? Then, similarly, your 10th mark sheets in PDF, right? Your passport size photograph, your signature, your thumbnail, all those you attach it and save and next. Next will come the declaration, right? Of your that you have read everything and uh, you are fulfilling, and uh, it will be rejected if it is wrong. And your save, we agree by clicking that and once you click that this message will pop up say it online say that please read it carefully please verify so you have to check box we agree if you don't check box it will not pass right so after this once you submit you know you see all you have filled all the parts of the left side so general information reservation which i mentioned declarations application print and puc mark sheet is what is pending right rest of the things i have already mentioned up to declaration we have done so this is the PUC mark entry. So if you already passed it, you can put PUC marks, you know, your uh, physics, chemistry, maths and all those things uh, or the tentative marks if you don't have the exact uh, mark sheet, right? So once you have filled, then now you are going fit to print. So you will see this print button and click there to print final application, right? And save the copy with you. So that's all friends, uh, complete uh, registration process as I explained and thank you for watching and please do like and subscribe this channel to keep get similar updates.